Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at calculating Z scores and probabilities after after calculating your Z scores. Uh, so I assume you've done some of this before. Just a little reminder to calculate your Z score. We use the formula X minus mu over sigma, where X is your raw score, mu is your mean, and sigma is your standard deviation. Usually in questions, we're given a sample mean and a sample standard deviation. But if you have the population mean and population standard deviation, you'll use them. So first example is the mean score in a game is 120 points. So we have a mean of 120 with a standard deviation of 10 points. So we have a standard deviation. Find the probability that a game will have a score of more than 135 points. So that's our X, that's our Sigma, and that's our Mu. So we'll sub this in to our formula. Z is equal to X, which is 135 minus mu, which is 120, over sigma, which is 10. So that means z is equal to 135 minus 120 divided by 10, which is 1.5. So we want to find the probability that z is more than, so greater than or equal to 1.5. Now, when we look up our tables, it doesn't give us uh, greater than 1.5, it actually gives us less than 1.5. So if we want to find this, we're going to have to find the probability 1 minus the probability that Z is less than or equal to 1.5. So that's equal to 1 minus. Now we go to our tables. And here we are, page 36, 37. So we're looking for 1.5. 1.5 would be over here, 1.12345, and it's 0 0.9332. So we write down 1 minus 0 0.9332. 1 minus that will be equal to 0 0.0668. So the probability that a game will have more than 135 points is approximately 6.68%. Just have a look at another one here. The mean rainfall on a winter's day is seven millimeters with a standard deviation of 1.2 millimeters. Find the probability that on any given winter's day, there would be less than three millimeters of rain. So same thing, we're gonna use Z is equal to X minus mu over sigma. In this case, we have X is three mu is 7 and sigma is 1.2. So z is equal to 3 minus 7 over 1.2. 3 minus 7 over 1.2 gives you minus 3.33 recurring. Now, we want to find the probability that we have less than that. Now, in our z tables, we can't look up negative numbers, there's only positive numbers in the Z tables. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look up, uh, or we're gonna write down the probability that there is less than three millimeters of rain is equal to one minus the probability that Z is less than or equal to 3.33 recurring. So that's equal to one minus. Now when we go to our Z tables, we can see that it actually ends at 3.09. So it doesn't go any higher than that. So if we're looking for something higher, for example, 3.33, the most accurate thing we can do is to take the largest number, which is 0 0.9990. So that's 1 minus 0 0.9990, and that's equal to 0.001. Which is 0.01% or 0.1%. So here's one for you to try now. Find a probability that the score in a game will be less than 100 points when the mean score is 120 points with a standard deviation of 25 points. So give that one a go. Uh, write your answer into the comments to see if you got it right.